Previously on leg one of the Los Sueños Signature Triple Crown. Marlin. Gotta have your Marlin. If you're not going to catch a Marlin, stay home. Fish Tank capitalized on the Marlin bite on the final day in leg one with a pair of the bad boys. Two blue Marlins back to back. Woo! It was incredible. The back to back Marlin releases catapulted them to the win for yeah! leg one. First time we won here in uh, Sueños, yeah, we're pretty excited about that. Great job, Ben. Give me some, bro. Hopefully second leg treats us just as well. As the second leg approaches, no boat is a clear leader in one of the closest tournaments in Triple Crown history. Close only counts with hand grenades and horseshoes and poison darts. Sail first, left short teaser, left short teaser! A lot different than it was last leg. A whole lot more sailfish, a whole lot more action. Woo! Pretty much anybody's game down here in Las Vegas. You're supposed to be at the right spot at the right time. Well, the bite is different. Right, right, long teaser, right, long teaser! We expect the fishing to be amazing. Oh, let's make it a double! Working on it. In one turn, you can, you know, if you convert those triple hitters, then, you know, you don't need to see a marlin. You just got to catch what you see. And there's a lot of sailfish out there, and it's going to be, it's going to be a fun, fun tournament with a lot of action. Welcome, everybody, to the second leg of the 2019 Los Suenos Signature Triple Crown. We're happy to have you here. We're excited, and we hope you're excited, and good luck. Say cheese. <laughs> That's unbelievable, dude. <laughs> Why are we here? I love creepy. <laughs> What's it like trying to keep all these people together? Oh, it's like herding freaking cats. <laughs> <laughs> they're all certified, they're all qualified. <laughs> You were preparing uh, great snacks for today's uh, registration. I don't know why you guys are afraid of the camera. Shouldn't be. Nothing going on here. We got a sweet tournament artwork from Steve. It's gonna be, uh, I think, a good tournament. We're hearing a lot of boats coming in and they're saying there's some fish out there. I'm a rock star now. Look at this, man. I can fish like this all day. I'm dying because I've been dying for a bite out there. <laughs> You guys are too much, man. <laughs> wow, I could look at this all day. No time for that. The second leg is just hours away. Expecting good fishing. I think it's going to be a great tournament. We're going to be back to where people are going to be chomping at the bit, calling Bill Kirby, trying to get a slip. It's always good to be here. It's the best tournament there is. We're ready. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Just excitement action. We're looking forward to it. It'll be good. I like it. Do you like it? Love it. Very uh, unknown, you know. We had a good couple of good days and a couple of bad days, so hope today's one of the good ones. Day one, here we go. With maximum expectations set for the best sail fishing waters on the planet, it'll take some impressive numbers to satisfy these anglers. They were aggressive. They were coming in on the teasers. Fish is right up there. Just kept running over fish. Booyah! Good to see the fishing like this again in Costa Rica. The day did not disappoint. The 45-boat fleet released 742 billfish, with the top four teams all having 30-plus fish days. Moliner's 32 sails was the best of their season, prompting a visit from Dockmaster Bill Brock. I've never seen Bill come down and say hello to us before, so I know that it must have been a good day. <laughs> we had a fantastic day. We saw lots of fish, hooked up a lot of them. We pretty much picked away at them all day. We had six or eight singles and finally started getting some doubles, some multiples. It was pretty steady action all day, really. Best day on the boat this year, pouring away by 10 bucks. Banana peels have been hanging on the outrigger all day long. It's one of our best good luck charms. Give me a big smile, Jim. Every once in a while, blind squirrel finds a duck with two <laughs> sonars. Los sueños, man. What else can you ask for? In second place, the boys of the Big O are already prepping for a big day tomorrow. 
they needed everyone on their game to release 33 sales for the day. We got a mascot, this is Blue. Say hi, Blue. It was a team effort today. Glad this fish showed up and I can't wait for tomorrow. Look forward to it, for sure. Cat Ron always puts on the meat. Uh, we had a good day. We did not have um, any lulls today. We picked at them all day. You know, congratulations to Gladi Boat. They got us by a couple. They caught a quad there that jumped us, but uh, we had a good day. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you. Just got to stay consistent. Hopefully tomorrow uh, we do the same in all three days, and maybe we come out uh, in the top three or even on top in the last day. So looking forward coming to Coming after you tomorrow, Tony. <laughs> coming after you. <laughs> Captain Tony and Team Galati have been warned, although cheers immediately drown out the threat. An exceptional 36 sailfish day earned praise from the dock as they led the field with 3,600 points. Tony, nice work. Tony's the man, and it's so nice to see Tony back here catching them up. Man, we drove over them all day long. We just boom, 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 boom. We're back to back to the old days. The boys are back. Johnny Legron was hot, Drew was hot, Eric was hot, Carmine and I did what we could do to, to make it, you know, the, to get up what we needed and uh, we got very fortunate, you know, it's, uh, it was great fishing. I mean, it was a great time, awesome time. Everybody did great. We, we caught a lot that we saw. We only missed, I guess, about a, 10 fish and, and half of those we pulled off. So it was, uh, Tony drove over them and, um, and everybody in the cockpit did what they had to do. The mates were great. Everybody did a wonderful job. It was fantastic. It's the nut on the wheel. And the nut on the wheel today did an incredible, incredible job. Thank you, man. Team Galati takes a brief moment to enjoy their success, but the Triple Crown waits for no one. Day two is fast approaching. A lot of good fishermen out there. And hopefully we keep picking at them. We got the leave. Oh, great. What's behind us? John Bayless and Ronnie Fields. Oh, all right. <laughs> comfort level is none. Regardless of your comfort level, every morning in Los Sueños can be summed up with two simple words. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning buddy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And on the second day of the Triple Crown, 45 boats are looking to turn their good morning into a great day. Leg two, day two, aboard the real screamer. See you guys there. What teaser? What teaser? Where? Watch out. Come on, baby. Let's get a double. Come on, baby. A sailfish tailing. Like right there in that nervous motor. Put the bottom of the beat. 890, 890. I can't reel quick on this. Go, Johnny, go! Woo! We're aboard my family's vessel, the Real Screamer, a 55-foot Viking with man 1550s in it. She is a real screamer. Today we have on board uh, my good friend and fishing partner over here, Jim Vaughn. On the other side, we have Billy Caldwell, the other angler, the mask band. The only time he takes the mask off is if he starts catching fish. <laughs> then we got Captain Glenn Cameron up top. Our pro angler is Brad. Brad is a professional mate, hence he, he's our pro angler. When I'm not fishing back home for recreation, I really enjoy being in the woods. I love uh, deer and turkey management as well as hunting them. Yeah, I'm not as lucky as Austin Angel where he's got that, all that high fence property. I'm hunting wild, free-range, uh, white, Florida whitetail deer, uh, and it's hard keeping them on my property. I wish I could have the money to put a big fence up like uh, the angels have. <laughs> I'm a family guy. I have uh, four beautiful children and a beautiful wife, and I wish they all could be here with me, but uh, unfortunately, her work is being a nurse and uh, taking care of the children, the time doesn't permit, but hopefully in a month they'll be down here. My oldest son, he has a passion for the outdoors as well, both in the woods and on the water as I do. And he uh, would love nothing more than to be here right now. He's in high school right now, getting ready to graduate and uh, getting ready to go into the United States Navy. One day I, I suspect that he'll be the one down here, uh, sitting right here with the rigger baits. 
We've had a boat here since 2001, so that's a lot of years down here, and it never grows old. That's what I love about this place. How can it grow old? You have everything right here in Los Wenos. Very rarely do I even venture outside Los Wenos when I'm here. Oh, it's blue! That's a blue, that's a blue! There you go. Yeah, we just moved into a new condo in Monticello, and what a beautiful uh, condo it is. Glass windows from the floor to the ceiling, and what a view. It's just amazing. It's uh, a beautiful place to be. Obviously, the, the fishing is what keeps me here personally, and um, I have no plans of going anywhere anytime soon, especially being that uh, we got a new 58 Viking on order. I suspect that we're going to have many, many more enjoyable years here in beautiful Los Sueños. Real Screamers Blue Marlin, along with nine sails, gives them 1,400 points for the day. But it's the Sea Angel's perfect 26 for 26 sails that's the day's best and the perfect birthday gift for Captain BC Angel back on the dock. It's a party for BC's birthday, and we won the daily. Woo, Sea Angel. We love it here. There we come, there we come. The Sea Angel jumped ahead of Team Galati for the most points on the day at the very last moment. Eight seconds. Eight seconds. Yeah, eight Ashley minutes. said we called in with eight seconds. And we're sitting there and he says, you know, it, it, it just kind of went tight. And, and I said, I looked at my watch, I said, dump them. Dump it. Dump it. Oh, we got it. We got it all. It was just fun. That's all I can say. For the first time, maybe in history, we went at 26 or 26 today, and we wouldn't be celebrating all this cool stuff and making my birthday epic if it wasn't for my family and my guys and my wife. to straight up kick ass today, that's all I gotta say. Thank you. Cheers for the Sea Angel are well deserved, but their competition is stiff. With the leg two leaders more than a thousand points ahead, Fish Tank currently in third with 5,000 points. Bite was really consistent around the boat today. Um, a lot of guys caught five, six fish. I think we were 24 total, so five anglers. Pretty, pretty even across the across the back of the boat. One of the few teams with no pros, and just like to keep it like that, you know? Let the amateurs show the pros how it's done. Fish tank won leg one, but past Triple Crown winners Tar Heel have moved into second for the leg and are in no need of a lesson. Captain John was incredible. He, he had us in the fish. Very exciting, a lot of bites, and just a beautiful day here. A whole lot of fun. The crew's incredible. Rob Mahoney, Jorge, all these guys, they were great. Really a lot of fun. And the fun keeps rolling on the dock at the expense of Observer Director Steve Hargett. Clearly no conflict of interest here. It's a familiar boat that keeps the lead. Team Galati pulls through with one magic fish. We were having a little bit of a rough start today. Tony put us on the bites we had our hands full. Get ready, I see him, he's right here. But Pat uh, hooked up on the marlin. <laughs> Things changed for us and it got really exciting and we just got our mojo going, so it was much, much better. Pat's Marlin gave Team Galati a small cushion at the top of the leaderboard, but with over 1,300 billfish released so far, any boat could make a wild move in day three. Good luck to you, Tony. Good luck, brother. Finish strong. Finish strong. No orange shirt today? Oh, I was trying to incognito, Tony. I know where to find you. Tony, you need a drink? I can tell you, it caught my nerve. <laughs> Good sportsmanship fills the early morning dock on the final day. And some strategy is also revealed. Leap or die by the morning. <laughs> Look good, feel good. Woke up this morning, had a twitch in my left knee. We won't catch him. <laughs> Another day in paradise, brother. We're going to have fun today. We found a few yesterday. Thank goodness for Blue Marlins. Yeah, thank God we got a couple of blue ones or we'd have really been in trouble. We'd have had to come into a different port. <laughs> I hope we do better at our regular job.
Every single team fishing this tournament is outstanding and anything can happen any day. You know, that's just the exciting thing about it. It makes it so much fun. You absolutely got to love Los Sueños. I know I do. continues to be hot in leg two. Team Galati and Tar Heel trade the lead early, but it's the afternoon fight that will determine the leg two champion. Let's check in with tournament director Ashley Bredisher at the awards banquet. Good evening. Welcome to the awards ceremony for the second leg of the 2019 Los Sueños Signature Triple Crown presented, of course, by Chantilly Air. Coming up to receive a check, for $26,800, they released 76 sales to do that. Tar Heel, come on up. Congratulations to Tony and the Team Glotti and the band on the fish tank for such a great job and this wonderful place in Los Buenos. So thank you all very much and congratulations to the other guys. In second place, coming up to receive a check for $40,200, they released 82 sales for 8,200 points, Fish Shank. Anglers, Mike, everybody, Mike, Darren, <laughs> Kit, most of all, Eric, Van, Joe, wherever he is, tall guy in the back. Yeah, they all make it all happen. First place, coming up to receive a check for $67,000. They released 81 sales and that winning Marlin for 8,600 points, Team Galati. I think this is absolutely the best place in the world. I love love every second of it. So thank you, Bill Royster and Ashley and your team for running the best tournament in the world. Everyone here really recognizes how much work's involved in that. So special thanks to each and every one of you here. Lastly, I do want to say that uh, everyone here has my respect. Anything can happen here in this tournament at any second because all the teams are absolutely extraordinary. So thank you, everybody. Let's go party and have some fun. The last prize for tonight goes to the top angler. So James, come on up. Yeah, you guys catch so many fish. <laughs> it's so hard to keep up with you guys, so um, this is really special. Thank you so much. Um, can't wait for next month. Let's go get them. Thank you, good night, and enjoy the fireworks.